Well, a very good evening and welcome to Eurosport's highlights of the EHF Women's European Handball Championships taking place in Serbia for the third time. Norway going for three out of three today. Serbia, their first win in six years against Ukraine. They wanted one more against the Czech Republic in their final preliminary match. Denmark, well, they need to win, have to stay focused. And the French, well, they knew they'd top their group if they could beat the unbeaten Swedes. Well, let's start it off with Norway up against Ukraine. Norway, of course, the defending champions. First half attack from the Ukrainians to Carlo scoring there to give Ukraine a surprising 6-9 lead. Sulund, accurate from the right-hand side. Pulled Norway's deficit back to two. Ten seconds to play in the first half, and Ukraine again extending their lead to three. And the second half started in much the same. Ukraine pulling four goals clear of the highly favoured Norwegians. Things were then to change as the Norwegian coach brought on the first choice players. Ida Bjorndalen. Fine finish from her to make the difference just one. Again, Sullen with an astonishing shot. Absolutely superb from nine metres. And that drew them level to make it a very, very tense last ten minutes. Norway strong as expected. They seem to be able to pull it out in the last few minutes every match they play. Ukraine not giving up. but unable to overhaul the Norwegians. A very tight game indeed. But the defending champions with this final goal. Lynn Joram Sulland. What a wicked left hand she's got. Great throw. And 18-17, uh, the final score to Norway. They top their group. Well, Serbia up against the Czech Republic and still celebrating their result against the Ukraine. Their first win in six years. Good save by the Serbian keeper. Czech Republic were aggressive. And pulling too clear and in fact led into the half-time whistle and a margin of three goals. The Serbian fans a little concerned at this stage. Second half. Milosevic of Serbia getting their score to within one of the Czech Republic. Things went from good to better for Serbia. Ognjenovic Finally pushing them ahead, 22-21. And then Jelena Popovic, who scored six on the night, netting that one to make it 23-21. The Serbian fans, though, still a little worried as the Czechs came back with this attack. Clara Kerner, easy goal for her, no mistake. Now just behind by one goal. But the last three minutes were all Serbia. Jelena Popovic again. Great goal, 25-23, the lead of two. And the Serbs kept the pressure on. Lekic, Popovic, Milosevic, 16 goals between them. The final score, Serbia 28, the Czech Republic 24. Well, let's have a look at the standings at the end of the prelims. Norway on top of their group, unbeaten with three wins. Serbia with four points. The Czech Republic also going through to the main group. Ukraine going home early. Well, Denmark were up against Macedonia. 
Both needed the win desperately. And in fact, whoever won was going to go through to the main group. Making it four apiece, that was Billy. Macedonia, in the early stages, took advantage of a flat Danish defence and extended their lead to two goals, 9-7 at this stage. And then Denmark's certainly most valuable player, Augustinsson. Gave the Danes the lead, nine. And then it was pretty much one-way traffic. Larsen this time, making it 17-12. Regal finding the net without any problem. 21-15. Augustuson kept that record going. Nice lob from her. 23-15. This time the assist comes from Augustuson. And the margin growing and growing and growing. 28-15. Ten goals ahead. Denmark in absolutely no danger whatsoever. Consolation goal then for Macedonia. And another. Nice hang, nice finish, but all too late. Denmark finding the net, keeping the margin, 33-24. Macedonia finished the scoring, but it was Denmark 37, Macedonia 30. Sweden up against France. France needed one point to be certain. Sweden beaten by, well, they beat Denmark and they beat Macedonia, so no danger of them going home before the main group. Good goal from Mendy. First of four of hers. Sweden coming back with Jakobsen to make it five goals apiece. Good nine metre shot from her. Kamto Jimtan keeping the French in this one. And Pijos this time. Nice lob, good counter attack from the French. Six goals clear and running away with this one in the early stages. Sinati, she pushed the advantage as well and made the margin seven. Very good game for Sinati. Exploited the flat defence. One of ten scores. One game. The Swedes. Torstensen tried to do something about it. Five goals from her. It was a good game from Torstensen. But Dunset rubbing the salt in the Swedish wounds with uh, another fine effort, keeping that margin at eight goals and keeping France out of any danger at all. And in fact, they pushed it and pushed it. Yembuyu pushing it to 22-12, and the Swedish in all sorts of disarray. The French going through wherever they want. Yep. But you again finding the net and the final score Sweden 17 France 24 so that means group B looks like this France top it with four thanks to their victory over the Swedes Denmark in second place with four as well Macedonia not picking up any points this time round well Hungary their win over Spain was uh, much celebrated. And of course, that was a group with Germany and Croatia with 22 goals in three games. Tamari equaling the best score of anyone in the tournament so far. And Carl Eric Bonn, her coach from Hungary, very yeah, impressed. It's the best uh, I ever seen. She was uh, making 12 goals. Uh one or two missed shots, but she was uh, really fantastic. It's uh, one of the best players in the world with uh, this performance. I, I've never seen anything like it. She's a very important player, and she was so clever today uh, in offense and defense, so uh, I'm, I'm proud of her. Well, maybe 
the strength of Tomori may mean that the Hungarians advance. The main group starting tomorrow. Well, of course, Montenegro is a very, very good team uh, with the players on the highest level uh, all around. But we also are, are good. But Romania and Russia is also a very good team. So it will be a close uh, main round. No, our ambition is to try to win every game. And uh, if we do manage to win uh, two games now in the main round, we, uh, I, I think we can make the semi-final. So, uh, but it will be tight all the way. But. Uh, Uh, we have the we have the hope. Montenegro is ahora mismo su campeón olímpica y Spanish coach. Está haciendo muy buenos resultados porque yo creo que tiene un equipo muy competitivo. Tocalaza talking about the Montenegro team, so they're the uh, Olympic silver medalists. They've had some very good results here. They've topped the group. Said so if uh, Spain want to win, they've got to be very strong defensively. Montenegro have uh, a lot of potential scorers, and it's going to be difficult to hold them at bay. Well, the Germans also celebrating yesterday with uh, an absolute nail-biter. They had to beat Croatia to come through. And this save by Schulke, keeping the Germans in the tournament. Had that gone in, it was Croatia going through to the main group. Well, here is Katja Schulke. She says, I knew that was the last shot. And uh, she knew it was about either getting a win or a draw. And she knew what the consequences were. Well, Muller was also very good in defence. Really tense game. We worked uh, hard all the way to the end. The last two games we've been lacking a bit of luck, but it came our way this time round, and consequently we find ourselves through to the next round. Well, here is saying the win means a lot to us. We swore to ourselves we wouldn't go out in the first round, as happened in the World Cup last year. Therefore, delighted to go through to the main groups and looking forward to our next next match. Well, German coach Heine Jensen, he was uh, pretty delighted with the way things ended up. He says, I'm really happy. I think it's important for this young team, these young players, their first big tournament, and uh, they need to get as many games under their belt as possible. So the Olympics 2016 really is our focus now, but we need success on the way and the Home World Cup in 2017. So uh, he's keen to give his young players as much action on the court as he possibly can. Well, Germany are through and will continue in these European Championships. Well, let's finish off with uh, a look at the uh, lineup. Spain up against Romania, Hungary, Montenegro, Germany play. Russia, that will be a very interesting game. <laughs>